Okay, I'm in the middle of recording a load of different videos and wifey says that I need to change t-shirts between videos, so... Ugh. Sorry about this. <laughs> she says apparently it's rubbish when you see the same t-shirt. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Hello and welcome, I'm Machine Dana, I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, I'm going to cover how you can set up a Discord server. I'm going to cover some of the basics, for example, first of all, how you download and install Discord, the basics of adding a server, the key things that you need to consider. We'll go into a little bit of detail about roles, a little bit of detail about permissions, and then I'll link to some other further content because I've done loads of Discord videos. And the content that I'll link to will be things like auto-assigning roles to people based on your Twitch or YouTube how to make the most of roles, how to edit channels, add new channels, integrations, all kinds of things like that. So this will be a sort of a medium-sized video where I'll cover quite a lot of stuff, but only at a very basic level. And then I'll link to further content where there's a lot more detail. If you do find this useful, I'd appreciate you hitting the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you're into Twitch or streaming, you can also check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana as well. Let's get going with this. Okay, so Discord. Briefly, what is it? Well, Discord can be used in a number of different ways. Primarily, it's used as a way to communicate on text channels or also for voice and audio. You can also use it for video as well. However, what Discord has more become these days is more of a community tool to create and build communities that interlink with other communities. For example, my particular Discord is primarily used to communicate when I'm not streaming. But more and more recently, I've been using it on YouTube to allow people to join the server, ask questions, get help and just become part of my community but people use discord in all kinds of different ways and that's the beauty of discord it's just got so much flexibility built into it inherently that it works really really well and for that reason it looks like microsoft are going to be spending 10 billion to acquire discord it remains to be seen what microsoft will do to it they might make it better it might make it worse who knows but for now, it's very much a big part of most content creators' online lifestyle. So first of all, to add the channels, you're going to need to visit discord.gg or discord.com. You can actually open Discord in the browser, and there is a browser-friendly version of it. Discord's also available for mobile, Mac, Windows. So I'm actually going to go ahead and click back here. And we want to be downloading Discord and installing this to your device of choice. However, almost all of the functions that you do on desktop, you can do on mobile as well with Discord. We'll open up Discord on desktop desktop and we're going to just dive straight into this now first of all to add a server you can go to this plus icon on the left hand side and click it you do have the option to join servers as well if you actually don't want to add one i'm going to go ahead and click create my own here we need to decide whether it's for a club or community or for me and my friends this is quite an important decision because if this is just a sort of a throwaway discord for you and a few of your friends discord don't need to give you as much functionality and they also don't need to overcomplicate things for you they can narrow down the functionality whereas if you're trying to create a community it opens up a little bit more functionality. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a community. You can upload a photo. Got the option here to name the Discord server. Test server. Go ahead and click create. Now, fundamentally, we've actually set up the server there. But obviously, there's a lot more things you can do with this. And I'll link some further videos below on how you can make the most of your Discord server. How you can add channels, edit channels. How you can link it to Twitch, auto-assign roles, add bots, and all sorts of things like that. For now, I'm just going to touch on some of the key points of every server. So that you know, as a starting point from this video, some of the things that you can do. So straight away, we were able to invite friends or send messages within the thread. And you start with a basic text channel and a basic voice channel just on the left hand side here a video that i'll link below will show you how you can add and edit and amend and make the best of these text and voice channels and also the categories as well that they sit under you can have multiple categories for example in my server i have chat and feedback subscriber only sections news and self-promotion streamer help content things like that if we click into the service settings in the top left hand corner here we have got the option to invite people service settings creating channels and categories notification settings for the server and that's notifications to you, privacy settings, changing the nickname, and hide muted channels. In other words, if you've muted any channels in a particular server, it would hide them and just condense them down. We're going to go ahead and click into server settings and go into some of the key points within here. I'm first going to cover the overview. We can rename the server and redo the logo here. We can actually set an inactive channel for voice channels as well. So if someone's in a voice channel, if you've created a second channel, for example, an AFK channel, you could set the AFK channel to be the inactive channel. Or you can just say no channel, and then also say what duration of time 
timeout there is. For example, if someone's inactive 15 minutes, it will auto place them in a inactive channel. You can choose whether you want system messages here. For example, random welcome messages, messages when people boost the server, and helpful tips for the server setup. You can toggle these on and off depending on your level of expertise. And then you can also choose where these messages are sent to as well, the specific thread. You can also set default notification settings as well, whether someone within the server will get all messages or only at mentions. I would highly recommend setting this to only at mentions because this straight away cuts down the amount of spam that the people in your Discord are going to receive. So we're going to go ahead and save changes here. Now we're just going to cover some basic roles. Within here, by default, you have the everyone role. And I'll link another video which goes into a lot more detail about roles. But just to scratch the surface a little bit here, the at everyone role is a standard default capture all role for anyone on Discord. And you can set the permissions for this. Generally, what people tend to do with this is set the at everyone role to be highly restricted and then add a secondary role, which is like a verified role. And then they open up more permissions with the verified role, but they would perhaps auto assign that role when people have agreed to the rules. You can use bots to enable that type of functionality. And there's a load of other functionality you can add to Discord as well. So roles within Discord are highly tailorable, obviously from a permissions point of view, but also the name and the color of them. People use Discord roles to restrict content, to open up content, to create exclusive content, and also in a number of other ways, just to like define the types of content that certain types of people might want to see. But also you can just have like badges and badges of honor and things like that. You can almost like gamification your own Discord servers with certain badges if you want to take it that far. I'm going to just go ahead and show you an example of creating a role here. We'll create a new role called uh, Verified. So I like to use emojis throughout the categories and also the channels and even within the roles because it just makes them pop a little bit. Because this is a verified server, I'm going to take a check mark. I'm just going to add that at the end of the role name. So I'm going to go ahead and add this as a green color, but I'm not fond of that particular color. So I'm just going to refine the color a little bit. Try and match this tick there somewhere. They look about the same. If you've got a specific hex value that you want to use, you can do that. We can now set the different permissions if we want. And once we're finished with this, just need to click save changes there press escape. Now anyone in the server, we can right click and give them a verified role. Or again, you can use bots to auto assign some of those. Some other things you can do with your Discord server, you can upload emojis, custom emojis to your server. I'll link a video below on how you can do that. There's some moderation settings that you can auto apply to your server, including the ability to have content scanned by Discord for red flags. There's an audit log, you can look at integrations within the Discord server, for example, webhooks, Twitch, YouTube, there's loads of other integrations that you can do here. You can even create widgets from your server as well in case you wanted to create like a badge of Discord and place it somewhere else, for example, on a website. You can also create a template of your server. So say, for example, you want to create a backup of your server or maybe you want to create a copy of your server and give it to somebody else. There's also some user management stuff here, creating invites, bans, and also just a summary of the members and their particular categories. And you can filter the categories down by the roles that you've added. Lastly, I'm just going to very briefly go over some missions that are available available to you when designing your server. And these permissions are available at role level, at channel level, and even at category level as well. And you can set hierarchies for them too. The first of all, you're able to display role members separately from online members. And this just means that you can have different roles separated. I'll show you an example of this on my server. Here I've got mods separated out, Twitch subscribers, and verified subscribers. Got the ability within the roles to allow people to view channels, manage channels, manage roles, manage emojis. Some of the main things here are allowing people to kick or ban members. Obviously, you want to save that privilege for your moderators or even just yourself. And then there's quite a lot of permissions you can add for channels. For example, allowing people to send messages, embed links, use external emojis, add reactions, things like that. Similar thing for voice channels here as well, whether or not someone can actually speak, connect, listen or not, whether they can use video, whether they become a priority speaker. So I'm just going to go over very quickly add another channel. I'm going to add a new channel called Food Drink. That's literally created that channel and we can now drag and drop this channel elsewhere. I'm going to now also create a new category called Discord Content. Great category. This category I'm going to drag to the top here. So we've got general text channels, but I'm going to put Discord Content. I'm going to drop the food and drink within the Discord Content. Can now set the permissions at either the channel level here or at the category level here. And here's an example of what that looks like. For my content, I've got 24 hour streams, clips, not safe for work stuff, hobbies, memes. So there you have it. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of a flavor of the types of things that are available on Discord in terms of setting it up and the types of things you can do for roles, for permissions, 
channels, categories. Really, we've only just scratched the tip of the iceberg here. And I'm really keen to see what you guys can come up with in terms of your discords. Feel free to talk about the things that you've done in your discord in the comments below. I'd appreciate if you like the video. If you want to subscribe, feel free to. Take care.